The field of mechanical engineering is assumed to be dominated by males, but some women are daring enough to go against the odds. Gabriela Gore is expecting to publish her recent project in a scientific journal which is about calculating the dimensions of glare, the material that is used extensively in aerospace applications. So before we started the project, what we did was we visualized all the work pieces that were going to be involved and recreated them on SolidWorks. So we did the work glare work piece with all the holes that we had attended on drilling, of which was 81. So you can see that there are extra holes that we had provided in case we needed to do it again, as well as design the dinoware, which was going to be placed on, the work piece was going to be placed onto. So in order to create a space between the sample and the dinoware, we designed a support plate and the support plate is what we use to allow the drilling to occur and not actually hit the dinoware machine and damage it. The initial step of doing the project graphically was not that complicated. But when it comes to actually drilling the material, there is a lot of precision and physics involved. With using these machines, an exact version of glare, also known as workpiece, was made. A software called Dinoware was used to analyze the force that was used to drill the material. So here you can see the actual final product of the support plate, the workpiece having been drilled, and the three tool pieces used to have done the drilling. Um, so here you can see that the support plate was then able to attach the workpiece onto it, which was then all taken down to the machine and placed on top of the dinoware. This is the CNC milling machine that was actually used for drilling. The measurements that were obtained using the software were then uploaded onto the machine for the drilling to then start. This is the CNC milling machine that we used for the drilling process. It has a maximum spindle speed of 6,000 RPM. Spindle speed is the rotational speed of the spindle per unit of time. So you can see on the table that we have the dinoware set up with the support plate on top and then the workpiece. This is how it was set up during our drilling. The, the final measurements were then plotted against the graph. The average surface reference was used because it measures why and where exactly is the surface rough of a material. What you can see here is an example of one of the points at a hole that has been measured and it's the surface roughness, average surface roughness. And the measurement below is the width of the material and these peaks that you can see that ultimately represent the alternating layers of the glass fiber and the aluminium layers. Um, so you can see that the higher peaks represent the glass fiber because it has a higher surface roughness than the aluminium sheets. And what we saw was that um, all of our surface roughness averages lie between 1 and 1.5 micrometers, which is an acceptable value when it comes to aerospace applications. This entire project required a lot of hard work and labor. Gabriela was dedicated and focused towards her project. She firmly believed that gender disparities exist only in one's mind, and that is what kept her moving forward. <laughs> you just move on, you gotta keep doing it, you do, you know, you keep working hard, and more often than not, it kind of gives you that push to prove that I can't do well, I am smart, and I don't need to be a man to be here. Women have been making progress in almost every field now, and soon there would be a time when women would make strong mechanical engineers as well. They just need to believe in themselves and the world will follow.